Hi, I'm exploring the question, is there life beyond the smart tool? The smart tool's so useful, we all use it every day, we, we miss it when we're outside of Pro Tools. Because we use it so much, I for one certainly kind of neglect some of the options as goes edit tools that aren't available when using the smart tool. So, I mean, smart tool, okay, great. Even zoomed out like this, so the top half of a clip, we've got the select tool, bottom half of a clip, we've got grab tool, each end we've got trims, which I'm a little bit too far out to use. But using the grab tool, we can select entire clips. We can also do that using the selector tool by double clicking. If we triple click with the select tool, we select all of the clips on the timeline on that particular track, which is a kind of handy thing. But if we come down here, for example, I'll select across all of these, and if I hit E, I can zoom toggle in on there. We can have a look at some of the other stuff that's available. Now, I, I use the function keys all the time for swapping to dedicated edit tools. So uh, F7, select tool. F8, grab tool. F6, trim tool. Hit F6 or well, any two of those together, and you get back to the smart tool. Really handy stuff. Now, I'm going to go to the grab tool right now, and there are three different grab tools. Time, separation, and object. The time one, we're all kind of used to that, actually. And uh, great, that's the one that you can access from within the smart tool. But if you hit the uh, F8 key again, you can cycle around the available tools. And, uh, well, for a start, object grabber. Actually, let's look at the separation grabber first. Using the separation grabber, for example, here I've got, uh, I'll select that one, that one clip, and... Uh, if I hit semicolon to move that selection down, if I wanted to use that somewhere else, I'll just zoom out so I can use that somewhere else, what I might do is I might hit B to separate it. I now have a separation, which we can see there. And then if I pick that up, I can use it somewhere else. Or if I hold Option, I can make a copy to somewhere else. Okay, great. But if I were to use a separation grabber, what I can do is I can move that down and then I can just pick it up and move it straight away. And there's no need for that separate operation of separating the clip using Command-E or B in Command-Focus. So it's kind of handy. Coming to the other grab tool, the uh, object grabber. The object grabber is unique just because what it allows you to do is it allows you to make non-contiguous selections. To show you what I mean, if I get back with the select tool and I select across all of these, I'll zoom in. Option F to zoom in on my edit selection. And uh, yeah, if I select across here, I can make a contiguous selection. That's not a problem at all. But it goes from the beginning to the end of my edit selection. Using the time grabber, I can do the same. And if I hold Shift, I can make a contiguous selection. But there's no way to deselect or leave gaps in this selection. That's what the object grabber does. When you select with the object grabber, you get this orange line round stuff. This is telling you that you're using the object grabber, really. But then if you go on and hold Shift, you can select other items. But if you see here, you're totally unrestrained on what you select. You can have non-contiguous selections. If you want to bring things in and out of that selection, if you hold Shift and click, you can bring things in or bring things out as you see fit. Another handy one is if you come off the clips altogether, you get this crosshair and you can, for example, rub a band and then uh, drop a couple of things out using shift. And from there, I can, for example, zoom out, hold option and pull the whole load over and make some copies. And none of that can be done using the smart tool. So there is indeed life outside of the smart tool.